Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 28th question from CBSC Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section C, where each question is of 3 marks. Now, this question is from Coordinate Geometry Chapter. If negative 5, 3 and 5, 3 are two vertices of an equilateral triangle, then find the coordinates of the third vertex given that the origin lies inside the triangle. Take square root of 3 as 1.7. Now let us try to understand the question by drawing a rough graph first. Now here two vertices of an equilateral triangle are given that is negative 5 comma 3 and 5 comma 3. So here we have placed two points or two vertices of the triangle. One is at A that is negative 5 comma 3 and one is at B that is positive 5 comma 3. So this is our y axis and this is going to be our x axis. Now we have to find out the coordinates of the third vertex of the given equilateral triangle and it is given that the origin lies inside the triangle. So if you look at this triangle, the origin O I have drawn right inside the triangle and the coordinates of the origin are 0 comma 0. And I have assumed that the third vertex C lies on the y coordinate. So it might be on the y coordinate or it might not be. So let us try to find out the coordinates of C that is taken as x comma y. Now since this is an equilateral triangle, the length of all the sides of the triangle are going to be same. Now to find the coordinates of the third vertex that is C, let us make use of the distance formula for the sides AC and BC. So we can write here. Now applying the distance formula to the sides AC and BC, we can write AC square is equal to BC square. Now the distance formula is given by d is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. So we can take this square root on the other side of equal to sign. So it becomes d square is equal to x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. Now why did we get this in this format the distance formula? Because here we have to imply ac square in the form of d square and bc square also in the form of d square. Now here when we are solving it for AC, using the distance formula, we have taken x1 and y1 as minus 5 and 3 and x comma y as x2 comma y2. So in place of AC square, we are going to write x1 minus x2, that is minus 5 minus x, the whole square, plus y1 minus y2, that is 3 minus y, the whole square. Now applying the distance formula again to the side BC square, that is taking x1 and y1 as 5 and 3 and x2 and y2 as x and y, we will write 5 minus x the whole square plus 3 minus y the whole square. Now let us expand both the sides using algebraic identity. So we have here, the algebraic identity we have used here is a minus b the whole square, which is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So minus 5 minus x the whole square is expanded as minus 5 square minus 2 times a is negative 5 in this case so negative 5 times b is x plus b square is going to be x square using the same formula we have expanded 3 minus y the whole square as 3 square minus 2 times 3 times y plus y square and on the right hand side we have used the same identity again so 5 minus x the whole square expands as 5 square minus 2 times 5 times x plus x square and 3 minus y the whole square expands as 3 square minus 2 times 3 times y plus y square. Now minus 5 square gives us 25 and minus of minus becomes plus. So 2 times 5 is 10. So it is 10x plus x square plus 3 square is 9 minus 2 times 3y is 6y plus y square. And on the right hand side we have 5 square which is 25 minus 2 times 5 is 10 that is 10x plus x square plus 3 square is 9 minus 2 times 3 is 6 so it is going to be 6y plus y square. Now here if we see from both the sides the 25 and the 25 can be cancelled because they subtract each other. Similarly x square and x square can be cancelled plus 9 and plus 9 minus 6y and minus 6y and finally we have y square and y square that subtracts each other. Now we are left with 10x on the left hand side and negative 10x on the right hand side. So let us get this negative 10x on the left hand side. 
so we get so 10x plus 10x gives us equal to 0 now 10x plus 10x is 20x equal to 0 now taking 20 on the other side of the equal to sign so we get 0 divided by 20 which is nothing but 0 so we got the x coordinate of the vertex c as 0 now let us try to find out the y coordinate so i'm going to redraw this figure over here for easy reference now this is the same graph we had drawn above now in the question it was mentioned that this is an equilateral triangle which means the distance between the point a and point b is going to be 10 because from negative 5 till the y coordinate the distance we are talking about the distance so in the distance we are not going to take the negative sign so from point a till the y axis the length is 5 the distance is 5 similarly the length of b from the y axis is also going to be 5 so the total length from point a to point b is going to be 5 plus 5 which is 10 so the length of ac also becomes 10 and the length of bc also becomes 10 since this is an equilateral triangle so let us write here so the length ab is equal to bc is equal to ac is equal to 10 now let us apply the distance formula to the side bc and equate it equal to 10 square that is length of bc is equal to 10 so bc square will be equal to 10 square now again we are going to use the distance formula for the points b and c for the bc square i have considered the x1 as 5 and x2 as x so we are going to write here 5 minus x the whole square plus y1 minus y2 so y1 is 3 and y2 is y so 3 minus y the whole square is equal to the length square or the distance squared since it is 10 in this case we are going to write 10 square which is nothing but 100 now since we got the x coordinate of point c as 0 we are going to substitute x equal to 0 in this case so here we are left with just 5 square which is nothing but 25 plus 3 minus y the whole square is equal to 100 now let us take 25 on the other side of the equal to sign so we have 3 minus y the whole square is equal to 100 minus 25 so that will give us 3 minus y the whole square is equal to 75 now taking the square on the other side of equal to sign we get 3 minus y is equal to square root of 75 now square root of 75 can be written as a product of a perfect square number that is 25 multiplied with a non-square number which is 3 so here we have written 3 minus y is equal to now square root of 25 is nothing but 5 and square root of 3 stays as it is now we are going to exchange the places of negative y and phi root 3 so negative y comes on this side so it becomes positive y and phi root 3 comes on the left hand side of the equal to sign so we get here y is equal to 3 minus phi root 3 now in the question it was mentioned to take square root of 3 as 1.7 so we have multiplied 5 with 1.7 so 3 minus 5 times 1.7 gives us negative 5.5 so this is the y coordinate of the vertex c so here we have the coordinates of the third vertex c are given as 0 comma negative 5.5 i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching